Okay, fill in the form. Fill in the form is one of the most important distinctions of teaching any form. When you teach the form, no matter what form it is, you should establish the correct mindset, meaning what? The student must be calm and focused. Calm and focused. If the student is not focused, you're wasting time. They cannot memorize the movements. They cannot develop a deeper understanding. If the student is not calm and relaxed, same thing. If they're not calm and relaxed, if they're preoccupied in their head with things they're saying to themselves or pictures they're making in their head, they're not fully here. So we want to make sure that first people are fully present. So I want to go over just some of the movements of how to one to so understand. So how do we start? So first we start facing. So we are mirror. It starts like this. Now, inhale, exhale. Pull, inhale, exhale. Again. Ana, inhale. Exhale. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Ana. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. So now, I demonstrated and did it with the student three times. And now I observe and I watch and I count. And now, inhale, exhale. Pull, inhale, exhale. And I observe how the student performs the movements. And I do it again. And now, inhale, exhale. Pull. Inhale and exhale. Okay, they did it correct twice. And then I continue. This time, I just say Hana. Pull. So if you notice, I didn't say inhale and exhale because I said it enough times, right? And I put them in a pattern where those breaths go together naturally. That's number one. So now I just have Hana and Tul. So I must observe at least minimum three times they have this movement. If they have this movement three times, we go to the next one. So average is between five to three times to go with the movement. If it's more complicated, it may take a little more time, but it's simple movement. So now we go to the next movement. Now I go both counting in Korean and counting in English. I go back and forth. Both helps the mind to focus and also to remember. So now I'll do one, inhale, exhale, two, inhale, exhale, inhale, and then now I am mirroring. If you're mirroring, sometimes the student gets confused. So we want to make sure that they understand which place going back. So when I turn this way, now I am shadow. When you're shadow, when you raise your right hand, your shadow has a right hand. If your shadow moves a hand to the left, that means you're moving your, your hand to the left. When you're facing, like in a mirror, it's opposite. When you raise your left hand, 
In the mirror, you see this, but that's my right hand and vice versa. So we have to be really clear and understand the difference between shadowing and mirroring and why they're both important. So now, here, let's start. Right leg back. Now, back. Pull. Back. Set. Back. Set. Back. And I watched. Let's see. Now, back. Pull. Back. Set. Back. And then we notice they have the movement. So that's the lower body. So once we have that, we come back to here. Uh, and we notice we're in the front stance, and this is to teach the student how to do the front stance correctly. So they know, so they're learning proper technique as they learn the form. I'm not just showing them steps to perform. I'm drilling them, drilling their body and their mind to build superior technique and skill and understanding right from the beginning. So now, once we're here, upper body. So I'm going to face this way. Upper body. And up. Back. Pull. Back. Set. Back. Mid. Back. And then we coordinate the breath. Exhale. And up. Back. Inhale. Pull. Back. Set. Back. There. So the student learns the right angle, also of the strike. And when we're doing this, we touch here. They don't understand. This is the striking surface. Now, we did the lower, did the upper. Now we combine lower and upper. Um and ya. So, here. Na. Back, pull, back, set, back, mid, and back. Now notice we did lower, and then upper. And we just did slow for breathing. Opposite of slow was what? Fast. Once again, so now we're going to here and we shoot back and thrust forward with a little bit of speed. Hana, back, pull, back, set, back. All right, and then we check them in that position. They're here and we count. Now, they do it. Back, pull. Back, sit, like that. So now we will observe that the student has that movement. So now we add three, two, one, and two. And it looks like what? One, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. This point you're inhaling and three. Now notice I'm using which leg? I'm mirroring. So the student is doing the correct side, doing this way. But because I'm mirroring, I'm this way. So not to confuse the student. Now we may do it a few times that way. So now. Pull. Set. So after a few times that way, I'm mirroring, then I'm gonna shadow, meaning what? The student will be over here, and I'll be at a 45 degree angle so I can actually see the student at the corner of my eye. So sometimes I'm on this side, sometimes I'm on this side, and the student is here. 
You have to be able to work from both sides because as the form changes, as you go from step to step, you've got to change your position. So now, together, and ah, uh, pull. Set. Good. Again. Do this up. Na. Now exhale. Pull. Now exhale. Inhale. Set. And after I check it, we have it. The student now has step one, two, and three of Hapki one. Very well, very good. It's not difficult, but they're, they're being trained and taught the right way, right from the beginning. Now, another important part is this. Remember, whatever's training the body, we're training the mind. But not just the mind, we're training the heart and soul. That's where confidence comes up from, or fear. We want to have confidence. So it's important that as, you start, as you're doing this, now that we got to one, two, and three, now you add. So, da, two, set. Good job. Ana, two, set. Excellent. So, what am I doing? When the students learn the movements, they're not too sure of themselves at the beginning, of course. In the beginning, most people are thinking about, I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to look bad. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to disappoint the teacher. They think things like that. So in the beginning, we're counting, Hana, We're almost creating a semi-hypnotic state. And then mind makes us more and more focused. Then we add the breathing. It creates more feeling relaxed, calm, and being present in the moment. And before they know it, they have the first three steps. They actually have it before they even realize it. And then we start adding. Great job. Good. Excellent. Phenomenal. Doing great. That's going in there. Most people really ever, ever, ever hear that especially as something new. So what are we doing now? We're also teaching the student about success, about how to feel successful, about how to feel more confident, about feeling more relaxed and secure, about feeling okay in their skin, about feeling accepted. There's much more going on here than just some movements because without the movements without the mind and the soul is nothing. A body, you take a body without a mind, what is it? It's either dead or asleep on a coma. You take a body without a heart soul, what is it? Usually dead. So martial arts training is holistic training. Mind, body, spirit, and soul. So now, going to the next step. So I'm gonna face this way. So we do one, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Yeah. Three. Then we do four. And how do we start? Lower body. Lower body. We can do mirroring, but remember, they're gonna do their right leg, they're gonna be doing left leg and back. But I prefer to do shadowing because people tend to memorize faster. The less confused. So watch. So we're here. So it's like this. And now you cover just like this. So all we're doing. Pull front kick and then land front stance. Uh, here, Hana, bring it in. Pull, kick, 
Land the front pants and bring it back. Now, we don't have to bring the hands back to here each time. We don't have to go from here to here. We can just do this, right from here. Now, front kick, front stance, back, back, pull, front kick, front stance, back. Set, front kick, front stance, back. So we drill that movement. So learning the form this way, by the way, never gets boring. It is challenging, but the rewards are right away. You can look fast. So now, when we start, remember, we're always doing it slow. And, uh, uh, and here. We want the student to begin to see all the parts in between. You gotta understand how, look, I have lateral support in this front stance. See, look, don't come to this line. I got lateral support, and I got support front and back. When I do the front kick, I have to come in, balance on his legs. See, look, lift, I do the front kick straight in, pull it in, and then I have to open again for lateral support. As opposed to what many beginners will do is this. Look at my stance. It's like I'm on a surfboard. Right? We don't want that. So it's important to take the time to teach how their body shifting. See that? It shifts to here, fires, pop, and it opens up here. So when we take our time slowly, they have time to get it. Now, of course, after slow, what do we do? Not too fast, but more relative speed. Hana, front kick. Back. Pull. Front kick. Back. So now, the student's learning the form. They're learning the stance. They're learning the front kick all at the same time. Now, once again, that's lower body. So then we come back. We're here now. This is the lower body, right? Now we do this, right from here. Na. Pu. Na. Pull. For breathing, Hana. Pull. Hana. Pull. So we do slow, opposite of slow, right? Then yang, it's fast. Then we drill this way. Hana, two, set, me, asu, yes, sir, yo, out, yo, ta! We drill this way. Now, what are they learning? The punching skills. Then, we go from single punch to double punch. Broken line to continuous line. In and yang, um and yang, in and yo, all the same thing. So it's like this, slow first, hana, one, two. Two. And they learn the breathing. When they start their punching, it's a continuous exhalation. Set. So sometimes you go a little faster, depending on the students. Sometimes we'll slow to make sure they're getting it right. If they're correct, we can go a little faster. If they're not correct, they're doing stuff like this. All right? No, we gotta slow that down. Have keep the elbows close. Alignment. Have the hands change at the same time. One and two. But if we have it slow, then we do it a little bit faster. The double punch. Hana! Pull! Se! Ne! Asad! Just like that. So now we did the lower body. We just completed the upper body. What follows? Putting lower and upper together. So we come to here. And how do we start? Slow. From here. Hana! 
Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Just like that, slow. Count about 10 times. We can check. I'm counting. Hana. And they're showing me. Two. I'm counting. They're showing me. Set. And they're showing me. I'm watching. Because now I can go and correct any part that's not right. Like a sculptor. Whatever doesn't belong there, we chip away. That doesn't go there, we chip this away. That doesn't go there, we chip that away. So the reason why we step back, step out of the picture, count and watch so we can see what has to be taken away, what should be chipped off, and what should be polished. Now, once we have that, then we go faster. Come to here, and we drill. Hana! Back. Pull. Back. Set. We do 10 times. So now, the student should be getting a workout. This should be sweaty. At the same time, must be watering that seed. The seed of confidence. The seeds of belief in oneself. Now how do we do that? Good job. Excellent. Great balance. Good focus. Now this is important. All students are different. No matter what they look like, you must find positive ways of reinforcing them. You must find something that's right. If a student does this, right? You can't say good punches. You can't say good stance. You can say great spirit. Understand? You have to build not just the body, not just the mind, but their heart, soul, and their spirit. You gotta make it all fit together and all work. So everyone's not gonna be perfect. Every student will have challenges and every student will have gifts. There'll be students that are real flexible and see them on everything easy, so easy. But they put no effort into anything, nothing. Physical talents, they have understanding, mental talent, but something with their heart and soul is not right. It is. They barely try. Okay? Somewhere in the upbringing, they learn that that was a safer or better way of being. Something bad happened to them, people said things, did things, or they saw something horrible, and that's their way of being safe. So they're never gonna try hard because if they don't have to try hard, it's hard to fail. If you don't try, you can't fail. So that's that, right? There's some other people, some other students, lots of energy, no focus. Stuff is shooting everywhere with no focus, right? We try to we do our best to get them settled, stable, and focused. That's not a one-time event, right? A one-time outcome. That may take time. You got a real difficult stone here, some real hard stone, and it's not easy to chip things away. So it takes a little longer. That's okay. That's the purpose of being a martial arts teacher, martial arts instructor. Okay, we don't worry about the time. We're developing a masterpiece. Okay, it's not a factory. It's not, okay, we need 300 pieces of this out by Wednesday. It's not like that. I mean, it may be like that some places. But that's not real martial arts training. Everyone is different. Everyone has gifts and talent, but also have some limitations and drawbacks. So as a martial arts teacher and instructor, you have to find ways of eliminating, cutting away, chipping away a lot of their limitations and drawbacks or working around it but also focusing on their talent, their gifts. Because ultimately, 
is about the being they become inside that will change their technique, their martial arts. If we, if we can't address this and this, this is a waste of time. They won't be here six months from now. We won't even remember them a year from now. But if we focus the right way, in the right places, right, and develop the student and with the right process, we want to develop great future black belts and great future instructors. So that's a little bit on drilling the form. But remember, drilling the form is not just counting the numbers, it's specific ways of doing it. I just gave you up to step four, specific, specific ways of doing it, but also it's the mind, the heart and soul. And when these three are in alignment, then we add the spirit and make it powerful.